Hello, welcome to the Georgia Family Connections Region 1 video series entitled Self Saver. Today is our second installment in the series and we're going to look at a word called exercise. Specifically, exercise for physical and mental health. Hey, if you're anything like me, exercise is a four-letter word, kind of like diet. That's die with a T. Maybe exercise brings to your mind things like Richard Simmons, sweating to the oldies, or Denise Austin, working out out by the sea. Whatever image comes to your mind, I want you to know today we're going to try to figure out some ways that exercise can actually be fun. Just how much exercise is needed to make an impact in your life? Just 30 minutes a day will make a big difference. And anything can be exercise, like cleaning the house, that's another four letter word, or, or maybe chasing those rug rats around the house. Anything where you can move to get your heart rate up just a little bit, that's exercise. So I want you to lean in today, don't check out on us today. Maybe we can all find ways that we can make exercise fun. Boost your energy. Regular physical activity improves your muscle strength boosts your endurance, delivers oxygen and nutrients to your tissues, and helps your cardiovascular system work more efficiently. When your heart and lungs work more efficiently, you have more energy for your daily activities. Better sleep. Regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and sleep more deeply. It's best to exercise earlier in the day and not too close to bedtime so your brain and body can start winding down. Improve your sex life. Yes, we're talking about XEX. -E when you exercise, you are more energized, relaxed, in a better mood and feeling better about your body. These things have a positive impact on your libido. Maintain a healthy weight and improve body image. Exercise can help prevent weight gain and help with weight loss. Increased muscle mass ramps up your metabolism, allowing you to burn more calories. And when you feel good about how you look, it boosts your self-confidence. Prevent and combat diseases. Regular physical activity can positively affect such health concerns as high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, arthritis, and depression. Improve your brain. As we age, our cognitive functions decline. Regular exercise can improve the function of the hippocampus, the part of the brain that controls our memory and also improves our ability to learn and retain new information. Improve your mood. Speaking of depression, exercise is great for your health or maintaining or losing weight, but it also works wonders on your emotional and mental health. Exercise stimulates endorphins, body chemicals that leave you feeling happier and more relaxed. This allows you to reduce stress and calm your emotions Exercise is a powerful drug that naturally gets the positive emotional results the pharmaceutical industry has been trying to create for decades. Heading to the gym or working out at home helps the body handle stress. Plus, making your body experience physical stress regularly teaches it to adapt to and quickly recover from both physical and mental stress. A good looking body, better sleep, less depression, anxiety, and a higher libido, point me towards the gym. But, and here is the big but, no pun intended. We all know how easy it is to start an exercise program full of enthusiasm, only to fall by the wayside weeks later. So how do you stay motivated to exercise? Make it fun. Let's face it. We aren't going to do anything consistently that we don't enjoy. So if a gym is not your scene, go for walks or hikes, do yoga, join a dance class, take up pickleball, learn to play golf. Your local recreation department may have the perfect activity or class for you. Mix it up. Don't do the same thing all the time. You'll become bored. Changing up your routine can work different muscle groups. This will also help keep you motivated by not letting your exercise routine get too boring. Make time. It can be hard to carve out the time for exercise, but we all have the same 24 hours each day. There is a huge difference between can't and don't want to. We always find time for the things we enjoy. 
Start thinking about exercise as something you need to do just for you. If you can't schedule a 40-minute workout, remember that 10-minute walks between activities add up. You might also consider creating specific goals for yourself like prepare for a half marathon, walk every day for 30 minutes, or walk the dog twice a day. Your dog will be so happy. Don't overdo it. Remember everything in moderation. If you've been a couch potato for years, you probably won't be qualifying for the Olympics anytime soon. Start out slowly. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids and eat something prior to working out. Your body cannot function without fuel and proper hydration. You're exercising to help yourself. If you overdo it, you're going in the opposite direction. Just imagine the positive impact that a little bit of exercise can have on your life. Looking good, feeling good, and actually being more happy. That's a great impact in our lives, isn't it? Hey, make sure that you follow the link at the bottom of the screen and take the survey to enter into our registration for free giveaways. Have a great day.